Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's food haul which is a bit different because it's actually a food haul whilst we're on holiday. So we've come to Lyme Regis which is a seaside place um, for four nights. So it's me, Matt, Arthur, we're also here with my parents but this is our food haul which is just for us three. So we went to Waitrose and I'm filming this like the day after we arrived so there are a couple of bits kind of like opened and eaten which I'll explain as I go through but it was a very big shop um, as I said, we went to Waitrose, so it did come to £113, which is a lot, I know, but yeah, I'll like, explain everything as I go through. So this is where I'm staying, so yeah, it's quite a big kitchen, so I've just laid it out on there. Excuse the like dirty uh, Arthur's yoghurt bowl there. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoy it. I'll also let you know like our meals that we've got planned, it's only four nights. Um, but yeah, so I really hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel, I post food hauls not normally on holiday, but I post my food hauls every Friday along with other like motherhood, mum life content. So yeah, I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around, but without further ado, let's get on with it. So here is the shop from Waitrose. So as I said, this is for four nights and it's just for uh, me, Matt and Arthur. So it started off here, then as usual, I've kind of laid it out very similar to how I would do at home. Uh, so breakfast wise we've just got some wheat biscuits and also some porridge I know you know I'm sure we could have just bought one but Arthur probably does do better with porridge and it's just nice to have a selection so we did get both of those I forgot sugar um, and I usually have do have a little bit of sugar with my porridge but I might get that having said that I did just have my porridge with the fruit today and it wasn't too bad it was fine actually so yeah it's not essential but I might um, get sugar too We've got this bread, which is the bread we always get from Waitrose, this uh, seeded half bloomer. We did have a second one of this, but it's kind of, I didn't show it to you because we had a bit of toast last night and also sandwiches today, so it's nearly empty. But yeah, we've got two of those, so that one is still unopened. And then we've also got a small white loaf for Arthur there. And then fruit and vegetable wise. So we have got some apples, we've got some bananas. Um, we didn't buy pears just because pears can kind of be a bit temperamental, like they don't always soften up. So as I said, we're only here for four nights. So yeah, we just thought we'd get apples and Arthur really does love apples. We've got a cucumber, which also meant to be over there, but yeah, that's that. Um, got some red grapes there. Also do have raspberries. I mean, this is like a good sized punnet, but I think we probably may end up buying some more raspberries maybe like tomorrow or something, just to make sure we've got a lot because we both kind of, well, I'm Arthur, we all like to have quite a lot of fruit. So that is our fruit. And then vegetables, we have some large potatoes. We've got a broccoli there um, and also a red pepper, which we kind of don't buy that often. I mean, when we went into Waitrose, Arthur just wanted to pick it up. He just liked what it looked like. But I did think actually maybe we should try it because he hasn't had pepper for quite a while. So yeah, I thought I would just pick that up, or Arthur picked it up. <laughs> also got some tomatoes, we've got three there on the vine ones, they look really nice. There was a fourth actually, but that's been eaten. We've got some carrots, look at the, I mean, they're all broken, so excuse what they look like, but these were the only ones left. <laughs> so yeah, we did get those, and also one red onion. Got a cucumber, as I said. We've also got um, a couple more potatoes, just to make sure we've got enough, because I don't think... We are having, like, well, we won't be having rice this week. We'll be having three lots of potato meals and we had pasta last night. So, yeah, we just thought we wouldn't do rice. So, anyway, lots of potatoes. And I've also got some mushrooms in there. And then, like, things for the cupboard. We've got some pasta. So, we just got the whole wheat one. We didn't bother to get white for Arthur because sometimes he does have this. So, we just thought we'd just get that lot of pasta. We've got one passata there. We uh, would have had another one last night. Uh, we've just got some oil. We've got strawberry jam, which is always quite nice to have like for breakfast or maybe on the evening or something. We've got peanut butter. We did actually mean to get the smooth one um, for Arthur, but never mind. I mean, we, me and Matt have this, but yeah, I think my mum might get a smooth one today. So Arthur could have that one. Um, and we had had two chopped tomatoes, we've got one left, and also a baked beans. And then snacks are here, so there's quite a lot as you can imagine <laughs> being on holiday. So we've got these crisps, which we had, I can't remember when, like a couple of weeks ago, I think. They're really nice. We've got those, and then also some pop chips there. Um, we've got some puffs for Arthur, so he had two packs of these. And we've also got this one, which I don't think he's, or he's not had for at least a while anyway. And then we brought a couple of packs with us too. We've also got some cashew nuts. 
We thought we'd get this chocolate, which is really nice chocolate. It's not that cheap, um, but it is really good. And I think it was slightly reduced actually as soon as, uh, in Waitrose. So we thought we would pick it up when we saw it. So we've got that bar. We've got a few biscuits here. And our property did actually provide some biscuits as well, which is good, some chocolate chip cookies. So they're really good. So anyway, yeah, we've got these little shortbread in the shape of a dog, so they're very cute. Um, biscuit wise also we've got these beanie sandwiches which are amazing they're definitely one of my favorite biscuits they're really really good we have got nairns which are always just nice to have we buy these quite regularly if you watch my food tours you'll know that we kind of get these very often um, i also got serene bars as you saw which wasn't necessarily like for holiday but i just thought when i saw them they were a pound and also i haven't tried these ones they are like fairly new i think berry and beetroot so I'll be interested to see what they taste like. I've had beetroot brownies, which are very nice. So I'm not like, it doesn't faze me. But yeah, so hopefully they'll be nice. Um, may Maybe even give Arthur a little bit of, of it. I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, I've got those anyway. Um, we've also got some organic bars, which are kind of mainly for Arthur really this week because we've got our own bars. So we've got, as I said, I've got Serene anyway, if I want them. But we've also got Gray's bars there. So these ones were reduced also, which was great. Um, and then we've got this pack, four pack of naked bars. So carrot cake, lemon, baked cod tart, and blueberry. So I probably would prefer like chocolate ones, but we kind of thought we'd get this. I quite like lemon. Um, I'll probably end up eating the carrot cake because I might not have that. But I did spot this one, the coffee and walnut ones as well. So I thought I would just pick that one up as well. So that's kind of like more my flavor. Even though I don't like coffee to drink, not really. I have like a latte with some sort of like vanilla in it or something, but I don't actually like coffee to drink. But coffee flavoured things, I do quite enjoy. So yeah, I've got that. Uh, I've got these, which and it's not something that I need at the moment. It's just whilst I was there, I know that I'm running low at home. So I thought I'll just pick a box up. Um, and then just onto kind of the fridge and frozen section, really. So I've got some hummus, which... I don't know, it might just, it's not something, obviously we're gonna have lunch out every day, like probably just sandwiches every day really, but it's just maybe something, I could have it in a sandwich, Arthur probably won't, but I might take out a little pot um, for him to like dip his cucumber or his puffs in, something like that, or I don't know, sometimes he might just have a bit of this with his tea. So yeah, I've got a pot of hummus, I just thought it'd be useful. We've got some garlic bread, which we did enjoy some of last night, so we've got that. Um, we've got some butter there, so we've got our usual flora one. Um, and then milk wise, we have Rude Health coconut milk. We've got cocoa. We've got those two dairy ones, which are from Matt and Arthur. And then I've got oat because they don't do rice milk, um, waitrose. So yeah, so I've just got oat milk, but that is, I don't mind that. I don't have it with, I don't really like it with Weetabix, but I do quite like it with porridge. So yes, I've got oat milk. We've also got some pineapple juice. Uh, there were, I think, no, sorry, I think we just bought one of these. Yes, yeah, so we've got one of those, which should kind of last mostly. And then I've got these two yogurts here. So these were reduced as well. So we may try Arthur with one. I, I, to be honest, sometimes he doesn't, I think he does prefer the look of that yogurt. So he may have one, he might not eat it. But yeah, we've got that, that. anyway. Um, cheese, yeah, Matt's got some cheese, obviously. We need that for, like, he'll have it on pasta. Um, and sometimes he'll just, like, take a bite with us kind of as part of our lunch we'll just have like a plain sandwich but we'll just have a bit of cheese with it so matt's got his and i've got this cheese which i've never had before but i've always heard really positive things about it it's applewood vegan cheese and honestly it is really nice i've had a bit already and it's really really good so if you're looking for a dairy-free cheese i really recommend that it's lush actually i do enjoy it it's smoky flavor yeah really enjoyed that so i'm very happy with that and also it's cheaper than some of the other ones so which I didn't realise, I thought it was more expensive. So yeah, I'm really good, um, really happy with that. Then Matt got some uh, turkey, which he will have in sandwiches. And then I've kind of got uh, corn and ham, which I'll have in my sandwiches. We also brought some um, Natex with us, which is basically Marmite. So yeah, we'll have that as well. Um, and then we've also, just, we've literally just had some of these. Um, they are higgedy feta and red pepper, like kind of, you know, filled sausage rolls but no sausage so yeah we've got those and um, we've got some eggs so one day for tea we're gonna have an omelette i think also for tea so we've had pasta we've had that um then one time matt will have these which are uh fish fingers so i don't know i kind of like potato wise like i said 
there's all gonna be potato, but we've obviously got mash, um, like boiled potatoes, and yeah, we'll obviously do it like slightly different. So anyway, he's got that. And then when Matt has that, me and Arthur are gonna have this, which um, I've not tried it before actually. I've tried some of other cauldron tofu pieces, but not these ones. So yeah, I thought I would give that a go. I'm not really sure what to put that with, to be honest with you. But I don't know, I just fancy it. I don't even know if it's gonna go with like potato. Obviously, you like noodles and stuff, really, but I didn't really think of that at the time. I just saw it and fancied it, but I don't know. Because I just thought it might be better, because Arthur, I've said this before, it doesn't, like, if I buy a vegetarian, like, fish or something quite plain, he doesn't really get on with it. So um, I just thought, I don't know, maybe that will look a bit more interesting to him. We'll see anyway. So that's another meal. Like I said, omelette will be another tea meal. Um, and then the other kind of meal that we're gonna have is like um we have sausages with broccoli uh peas and carrots and then um mash as well or boiled potatoes whatever we have so yeah potato wise i don't know might do like just a jacket because that's very quick with like an omelette for example maybe oh, i don't know like maybe mash with that it'd be quite nice to like make some chips but i don't know we probably won't do that we usually have our air fryer at home so obviously that's not here Anyway, and then the very last thing, uh, sorry, mince there, which as I said, we had last night. Um, and then, yeah, just some peas at the end. So that's everything. Um, there was also a Thomas the Tank engine magazine that we bought for Arthur. And there might have been, I can't remember, like maybe a couple of other bits. I'm not sure. But in total, that came to £113, which is a lot for four days for only three people. But obviously, we've got a lot. Obviously, anything like left over that, you know, we can take home, of course, we will take home and back with us. Um, but yeah, obviously when you're on holiday, you kind of tend to spend a bit more and eat a bit more. So yeah, that is everything that I have to show you this week. So that's the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I should have said at the beginning, so excuse like the mess. We have been at the beach today. It was so, so windy. So my hair is just like completely windswept. So I know like a bit, look a bit uh, or very bedraggled. So sorry about the appearance. I don't usually look this messy, hopefully. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll be back next time, like in my usual location with like a seven day shop and meal plan, obviously. So yeah, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I really hope to see you next time. Bye everyone.